Boys, is this thing working? <laughs> I'll assume you're getting this. Romneyland is no longer turning a profit. I bought the place for your mother as a hobby or something, I guess. It all seems a little unnecessary to me, but I'm putting you boys on the case. I believe in you boys. And Taggy, keep a close eye on Ben. He scares easy. <laughs> Romney Dad out. Oh, this place creeps me out, man. And that Mexican at the gas station did say this place is haunted. Brothers, calm yourselves. The only real ghost I know is the holy one. Maybe, but those funky carnies sure gave me the creeps. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, too much. Okay, gang, we just need to polish this turd up enough to sell it. Romney boys, synergize! Like, I hate waiting in lines, Ben. Ritu, Raggy. Maybe we can charge a groovy premium to take cuts in line. Like, I know I'd be good for the bread. <laughs> Hey, Ben, you look just like Barney Frank. Merry <laughs> McWaggy. <laughs> and I look just like one of those Occupy Wall Street hippies. <laughs> What's disgusting? Well, taking a dump on public land for me. Union busting! <laughs> we gotta hightail it out of here, man. There's a g g g ghost! What did this ghost look like? <laughs> Lots of disrupting. Ruining nothing. Hmm. That sounds like one of the old union maintenance guys. But how can we catch a union ghost? Daddy says those guys have an unfair advantage. Huh. Blinkies, I think I have a plan. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. No matter how many people I laid off, I just couldn't make this place profitable. But it looks like this ghost was to blame. But like a corporation, ghosts are people too. Let's see who he really is. Vice President Joe Biden, uh. Yeah, it's me. Look, folks, do you know how dangerous it is to run a theme park without proper maintenance? The Tilt-A-Whirl broke off its axle last week and crushed the horsey ride. If I hadn't been scaring away visitors, the loss of life would have been catastrophic. Yeah, but you got greedy when you saw that bloated pension. Can you blame me? I'm almost 70, and my job is up for review this year. Sorry, Mr. Ryden. Ben, I never want to hear you apologize for your dad and his success. Get in your carrier. <laughs> Romney snacks for everyone, except you, Ben. Close it and doze it. Romney, Romney. Ah!